Hello, I'm Dr. Malescu. Underneath this mask, yes, it's me. Hi there. Um, we're at the campus, so we are wearing masks because we are during the pandemic here. It is uh, end of September, 2020, and we're still uh, teaching online. However, I wanted to do a heart dissection today, and uh, this is a sheep heart. So we're gonna go over the um, heart, and then we're also going to look at the lab model and compare the two together. Okay, so first I'll start with the heart dissection and then I'll review all the structures of the heart with our uh, lab model. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing I did before we even went on is to point out all the blood vessels, the great vessels. So first of all, let's do this. <laughs> I've got holes poked through every single great vessel. So if we look, you can see the apex is going to be towards my left hand. So this heart should be like this, right? Apex facing the patient's left hand. I know on your side it looks different, but it's towards the left hand. And so this is the apex and this is the superior portion of the heart. Okay, great. How do I know that this is anterior? Very easy, versus posterior. Remember how I taught you, this doesn't look right at all. This is the posterior aspect and it's facing, the apex is facing right. So that's not how it's placed in the body, it's placed like this. Okay, so let's begin with identifying structures. So the first thing I wanna show you is that you wanna be able to identify the right side from the, the left side. So right here, you can see the right oracle. So this whole side here is the right side. So therefore, this is the left side. So right oracle is on top, there it is. Left oracle right there, okay? And there's your apex, great. So what you can expect is that your left coronary should be around over here by your left oracle and your right cornea should be here, and then your anterior interventricular should be coming down this way, uh, which is in this crease right here, okay? So I don't know if you can see the crease, but there it is, pretty significant, there it is, okay? Now, let's take a peek at the vessels. So if we've already identified that this side is the right, okay, and this side is the left, we need to be able to identify um, the great vessels and where they are. So the first thing that you wanna identify is the right oracle. And so this is easy right here. You can see this big hole, that's your superior vena cava. And I can feel it as I penetrate because it's way open. It goes right into that uh, right atrium, okay, which is deep in here. Okay, so take a peek right there. That's your right uh, atrium. And this is your superior vena cava right there. Okay, great, what else? Well, if you wanna take a peek even further, you're gonna see that this should be the pulmonary trunk because guess where it's coming from? If I put my probe through, it's coming from that right ventricle. So there's my right pulmonary trunk. Great, so I got that. All right, so that's there. What else? Well, on this side, I can see I've got vessels coming in here. So these are the um, pulmonary veins coming into that left atrium. So I'll take that out. And I don't wanna confuse anyone, so I'm gonna take out the superior vena cava. And I'm gonna take out right here, that's coming your pulmonary trunk. It's coming straight from that right ventricle, taking it out. And I'm left with the um, aortic, okay? And the aortic arch is gonna come up this way. It's rather large, so it's dead center. Okay, so there it is, okay? All right, oops, and I just got some heart juice, believe it or not, on my laptop. Hold on one second. Don't worry, I will clean it up later. <laughs> okay, now let's start dissection. One second. 
And we will start by using a number 15 blade. And we're gonna start from the top. I would say dead center superior. And you're gonna work your way all the way down to the apex on both sides. And we're gonna cut the heart equally in half. All right, so here we go. And I usually do the saw method, just kind of cut through the material. Okay, follow the line. You never want to do a new line. You want a nice, neat incision. And I'm coming back around. Here we go. And before I open it up, I just want to show you how strong the cordate tendon A are. Literally, I can see the valve from here. Let me cover up my laptop so it doesn't get wet again by the heart. <laughs> see? You can see the cordae tendon A and the valve. So I'm going to cut straight through now. Wow. What a nice... I'll show you in one minute. Beautiful. Okay, there it is. Okay, so what you see here, let me show you. There's the cordae tendinae, they're pretty strong. Okay. And what's left of the valve right there. Okay. So if I put this back together and I wanna know, is it the right or the left? How do I know? Well, again, put it back together. Take it apart. And guess what? This originally was on this side, so that's your bicuspid, and it's easy to identify its bicuspid because gosh darn it, it really does have two openings. There's the bi, one, two. It's also known as the mitral, okay? Right there, bicuspid, also known as the mitral. How do I know that this is the ventricle side? Look how thick the ventricular muscles are. And look how thin compared to, this is the right side. Glad I got some tissues over here, it's leaking. <laughs> okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. And let me show you one more thing, which is really cool. Is from here, if I take my probe, there it is, boom. All right, so that's coming from the ventricle. Here's my ventricle. There it is. There's the aorta, okay? Okay, there. Okay, so because this is the left ventricle, all right? Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I just want to make sure you're able to identify the valves you should be able to see the chordae tendinae or these structures right here. And there's the valves. That's the most interesting thing that you should be able to see. Okay, the chordae tendinae right there. And then, of course, the valves. Okay, and then look at this left ventricle, how thick it is compared to the right ventricle. Very different. Okay, and I already showed you all the great vessels. Um, so we should be good. So let's go over now. I'm gonna move this aside. And I'm gonna go over 
the lab model. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So here's the lab model. Isn't it pretty? So we could ask on a practical for your lab practical online, I could take images of this, lots of them, and ask you questions. So this is why I wanted you to make sure that you also saw the lab model. So let's begin. First of all, you can see up here, this is the superior vena cava. I'm turning it around so you can see. Superior vena cava, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn it around one more time. And now I'm gonna to point to, let's see if I have my camera here. I'll take a probe. Don't worry, I'll wash my hands. Here is the inferior vena cava right here. Okay, so superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. Now let me turn it around. And guess where it's at? If I open this up, watch, I'm gonna pop it open. Ready? Boom. <laughs> And we're in that right atrium. See that? Now, this is solid. They didn't make a hole through it, but if this went through, it would go straight up, straight up in here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's your superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. There it is. And this is your right atrium. Okay. So let me cover it up again. Boom. Right oracle is on top. Let me turn it around there okay right oracle remove the oracle which expands right atrium okay now watch this i'm going to take this off okay but before we take everything off let's just take a look on the outside and learn the coronary arteries you got i'm just going to do the main ones i'm not going crazy here's you know with detail just know that this is the right coronary and the Widowmaker, the left coronary, should be right about here, um, hiding just underneath this left oracle. Okay? All right, now watch this. I'm going to take this off. There it is. Okay, so what you're seeing here is you've got your uh, right ventricle and your left ventricle. Okay, so right ventricle, left ventricle. All right, what else do you see? You can see basically, um, what else? The tricuspid and the bicuspid. So let me do this. Right here, tricuspid and bicuspid. I don't know if you can see that. Bicuspid and tricuspid. You see that? And let me bring it even closer. You can see the chordae tendinae. I don't want to rip the little fragile little paper thin chordae tendinae. And then the papillary muscle is right here. You can see they look like finger-like projections. Papillary muscle, papillary muscle. Okay, so the papillary muscle is going to activate and um, close down those valves and pull on the chordae tendinae. Okay, popping out at you in your eye over here. Look, that's the pulmonary trunk, right? So look, there's the pulmonary valve with the peace sign. Well, if there's a pulmonary valve, these are all semilunar valves, right? So what's next over here? Look at that, you can see very nicely, this is the aortic valve, which goes like here, right here, aortic valve. So everything just crosses, right? So you've got the pulmonary valve going out this way to the pulmonary trunk. And then look, it splits into right and left. Here, let me turn it around. Right and left pulmonary arteries right there. See my thumb? That's pulmonary artery. That's pulmonary artery. So where is it going? Well, this pulmonary artery is going to the right lung. And this pulmonary artery is going to the left lung. Right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it out of this piece here so I have more mobility with this.
and then I'll put it back. Okay. Okay. So now I have mobility. Right here, you see the right and the left pulmonary arteries, right? So if we're looking at it the way it should be, this pulmonary artery is going to the left lung. This pulmonary artery is going to the right lung. There it is. Now, if I turn the heart around back here, you have two pulmonary veins from the right lung, two pulmonary veins from the left lung coming back into what section? Guess what? Into that left atrium right there. Okay, where's my probe? Boom. Okay, so if I take this off, if this was to be removed, which it cannot be removed, it would go through here. Right atrium into, I'm sorry, left atrium, pardon me, into left ventricle. Okay, boom. So left atrium, left ventricle. How do I know it's left? Because of the muscles here. And you see that papillary. Now look at the right side, much thinner. Okay, and what do you see on the right side? You got the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava feeding into that right atrium. On the other hand, in the left atrium, you've got two from the right and two from the left feeding in. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, so if I look at the back, do you see how posterior the pulmonary veins are? They're posterior even to, posterior and inferior to the pulmonary arteries. In the pulmonary arteries, there's only one to the right, one to the left, but then coming back from the lungs, you got two pulmonary veins from the right, two pulmonary veins from the left. Okay, all these four are entering where? Left atrium, boom. Left atrium, turn it around, there it is. And that's the ventricle over here, okay? So left atrium into left ventricle, right here's the atrium. Left ventricle, all right? So what else? We identify that this is the left auricle. We identified the pulmonary veins. Let me, I'm gonna put it all back together as I'm talking and reviewing. We identified the right oracle, which was over here, putting it back like a little puzzle. If I can do that, let's see. <laughs> this is on the bottom. There. Oh, not yet, give me one second. I can't put, I need to do more puzzles, don't I? There, it fit, it just doesn't fit perfect. All right, so there's that. I can't shove it in there. There. Jeez, that was hard. Okay. Then what? What do we see here? Well, let's put this guy back. You can see all the coronary arteries and veins, the anterior interventricular artery. There's the vein. Let's look up the cardiac sinus, shall we? Boom. There it is. Cardiac sinus. Okay. And I think I've covered all the main structures. The main point is to see the difference between the right and the left ventricle. How amazing is that? And you can see the valves here and the chordae tendinae, and you can see the valves here, the semilunar valves. That's the pulmonary valve, and that's the aortic valve going up this way. And the aorta would come up behind the heart posteriorly, okay? All right, so um, short, I don't know how short it was. Eh, it's pretty short, 20 minutes. I do hope that this was uh, lucrative and useful for you to learn the heart from the model and as well as your dissection. All right, so if you have any questions, you can email me. Hopefully this helped you tremendously. All right, take care. Bye.